It was a uh, an important delegation. I had the opportunity to accompany the team, and it was very clear that the uh, relationship between China and Iran has evolved uh, significantly. Uh, the two leaders met earlier in Uzbekistan uh, during the SCO conference, and uh, uh, and on this trip, uh, significant agreements were made in, in a host of different fields. Western media tries to uh, depict this as some sort of anti-Western alliance and as your previous guest pointed out, speak of Russia, Iran, and China. But I think for the Iranians and the Chinese, it is basically working to develop uh, a natural relationship. Iran is a very influential country in West Asia. It's probably by far the most important uh, power in West Asia with very powerful allies in Iraq and Syria, Lebanon, in Yemen, and of course, uh, it is linked to China both by land and sea through a Central Asia and the Persian Gulf. And uh, Iran has the second largest gas reserves in the world and argu arguably the third or fourth largest uh, oil reserves in the world. So uh, for China, Iran's energy is very important. And for Iran, China being a rising global power, uh, it is also very significant, especially in uh, artificial intelligence and new technologies. The Chinese have made huge progress, uh, which has earned them uh, sanctions from the United States. But for the Iranians, it's a source of, um, or an incentive for greater cooperation with that country. So, uh, especially since the United States and the Europeans choose to antagonize Iran and sanction Iran. So, the idea that was discussed a lot was the sort of the convergence of Asia at a time when Asia is rising. 